everybody, Casey here, and welcome to Home Cooking. If this is your first time stopping by, hey, are you in for a treat? And if you're one of my returning family members, hey, welcome home. You know what? If you hit that like button that's down there, ring that notification bell, and subscribe to my channel, I guarantee you a whole lot of fun, a whole lot of flavorful food, you won't regret it. In any case, have you been looking for that slap your, not mama, your whole generation mac and cheese that is so savory, so creamy, you'll never want to go back to any other. Well, look no further. I've got that recipe and I've got the secret to making that mac and cheese the way you've always dreamed of. And if you wanna know how I do it, well, you know, stay tuned. Grab a bit of this and a dash of that. Mix it up a little. That's Okay, we got black pepper, Lowry season salt, Splenda, Casey's Blessings coming at you real soon. Carnation milk, a stick of butter, Velveeta cheese sauce, some Colby Jack cheese, mild cheddar cheese, and Velveeta. We have a couple of eggs, we have a little cooking spray, and of course, macaroni noodles. I got a big pot over here that I'm filling up with water and I'm gonna spray a little of that cooking spray in the water, why? Because I don't want my macaroni to stick. I'm gonna go over here to my stove top and put it on a high heat so I can bring that water to a rapid boil. Now I'm gonna jump that macaroni in here, cook it for about 10 to 12 minutes. I don't want it to be mushy, I want it to be kind of firm. And then I'm gonna rinse it off once it's done with some cool water and sit it to the side. Now I'm gonna get back to my stove top, turn the heat down, cause it's time to melt this butter in this pot. We're starting the basis of this good macaroni and cheese sauce. Once that's all melted, I'm gonna start putting my carnation milk in. I'm gonna do two cans of that milk and I'm gonna continually stir because you don't want this milk to scorch. If it scorches, it's gonna ruin everything. So let's get to stirring. And then I'm gonna start putting in my cheese sauce. I do two packets of the cheese sauce, get that all mixed in there. And then I'm gonna start putting in my cheeses. I do two cups of mild cheddar cheese, two cups of the Colby Jack, and of course, two cups of Velveeta. We get all of this stirred up. Now, a lot of people will use flour in their base of their mac and cheese to thicken it. I don't find that necessary if you use enough cheese. And you see I have, and you see what the results are. Look how creamy that is. That is going to be fantastic. Now, I'm gonna hit it up with a little bit of the Casey's Blessing. Like I said, it's not ready for you guys yet, but when it is, I'ma let you know. You can use some seasoning that you like. I put some black pepper in there, and I got a little bit of the low sodium Lowry season salt. And you know I gotta do a squirt of Splenda. It just brings up the flavor. It balances things off. Now let me get this all stirred up. Those two eggs that I beat, I gotta get them in there, but I took the pot off of the heat because I don't want scrambled eggs. So let's get it all incorporated and look at that sauce. This is what you want to see. This is gonna be the beginnings of a beautiful relationship. Now let's get this macaroni all in there. We're gonna get it into the sauce and we're gonna make sure that every single piece of that macaroni is kissed it may start to stiffen up because you got a lot of macaroni, at least I do, because I'm making a lot of mac and cheese. But the key is to loosen it up with that third can of carnation milk. You wanna continue to pour it in because you want your macaroni and cheese mixture to be loose. You don't want it to be stiff. The stiffer it is, the drier it's gonna be, and you want it to be moist and delicious. 
even when you reheat it. You want it to look like that. Now, once you got it like that, you're gonna do your layering method. You're gonna put half of that mac and cheese mixture in your pan. Then you're gonna take a cup of the mild cheddar cheese, you're gonna take a cup of the Colby and a cup of the Velveeta, put it on the bottom layer. Now take the rest of that mixture, we're gonna put the other half on top and we're gonna put the other half of those cheeses and we're gonna to top it off with some paprika for color and for flavor. Preheat your oven to 400 degrees. Lightly cover your mac and cheese, get it in the oven, and cook it for about 45 minutes. And I'ma tell you, once that 45 minutes is up, you're gonna have fantastic results. Look at that mac and cheese. Oh, I can't wait to plate it up. Mm. Ooh, I love mac and cheese. Ooh, let me get a little taste taste. Mm. Mm. Look at that. Look at the season. Look at the cheese. Oh, I'm going to get it in my mouth. Mm. 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 <laughs> oh, let me get another deep dive. This is delicious. If you like this video, and who doesn't like a fantastic mac and cheese video, hit the like button. Don't forget to ring that notification bell, everybody, because you don't want to miss out on my next recipe. And as always, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And until next time, you know what I wish you. I wish you a little love, peace, and a whole lot of joy. See you on the flip side. Bye-bye. That's mm -hmm.